Now, one of the most powerful features that all three applications share is the ability to switch through versions very quickly. And this is very important for review. So what this means is that we can select this clip and then I can hit Alt up or down arrows to toggle through different versions. If I hover over the clip, then we can see all the versions available and I can just switch to them that way as well. And we can do this for multiple clips. We can grab a bunch of them, jump to the maximum version, the minimum version, all within a hotkey. Um, we can also be comparing for the review different versions of the shot and we can do this through the version bin but not only that we can also be comparing departments or different tracks to one another so for example if i select this lights and then i isolate it into the viewer by hitting the one key i now have it solely inside of here now what i can do is select the animatics hit two and now we're doing a direct comparison between the two departments and this is great because we have different options on how we want to view this. We can be doing a simple wipe uh, or we can be going in and doing something like difference where we can really get in there and go and do the pixel inspection. So we have different wipes available to us. We can do the under, over, minus, onion skin, invert, add, and the difference that we're looking at. But we can also do things like stack things horizontally. So if I jump over to the horizontal, we can have them stacked side by side. Then we can go in and we can be playing it through this way. We can also be stacking them on a vertical stack. So whatever suits your review session or your inspection of the pixels, uh, we have all the available options for you. Now we can jump back to wipe and we can toggle the wipe uh, on and off by hitting the W key. Now just a couple of other things to note from here. If we wanted to compare different tracks, we can be completely viewer centric in the sense of we have our viewer in full screen and then we can jump to different tracks from here. So maybe for the lighting department, I wanna compare it against the lighting effects that were rendered for this. We can do the same thing as well. So we can be all in the viewer and comparing and jumping through different tracks directly from here. Also note that if you have multi-layered EXR, the viewer is capable of reading all the EXR passes. You can see inside of here that we have a bunch of them. And this is a great way we can be doing AOV inspection or troubleshooting as well for review.